Hi, I'm Sundar Jagannath, Professor of Medicine from Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, New York. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of presenting a definition for cure and why it is important to define cure in multiple myeloma. Most important is there have been tremendous progress in the treatment of multiple myeloma in the session. And Nupur Raji talked about how CAR T cells is able to induce complete remissions and durable remissions and MRD negative status using CAR T cell therapy. This was followed by bispecific antibodies also inducing high response rate and MRD negative status. So the immuno oncology has completely changed the treatment paradigm of multiple myeloma in lab setting. These assets are being used up front with the hope to cure myeloma. So it is important, first of all, we have to define what is a cure. And why do we have to define cure? First of all, for patients, when they are diagnosed with multiple myeloma, it is important to tell them that they have a curable disease. It is, gives them hope. Whereas if they are told that they are inflicted with a cancer that is invariably fatal, that is quite depressing. So it gives hope to the patient that the treatment paradigm has changed that they could see cure in their lifetime. Second is for the physicians, all the physicians attending SOHO, etc. The most important is when you approach the patient, if you have a disease that is potentially curable, your approach to the patient changes. Your body language, how you speak to the patient, etc. changes, that you can give them hope that there are treatment options that potentially could cure them of their current illness. That makes a big difference. Moreover, once there is such rapid developments are happening, the physicians, the oncologists, they are keeping themselves very much untuned to the latest development so they can really bring the best to the patient and also refer the patient to participate in clinical trials. For the pharma industry, defining cure is important because then they are excited to participate in clinical trials in newly diagnosed myeloma patients with an idea that would lead to cure of the patient. And the definition of a cure with the five-year endpoint as defined is important so that they can actually fund such clinical trials. It also allows the pharma industry to partner with each other with their assets because everybody wants to be on the bandwagon to cure a myeloma patient. And finally, for FDA or EMEA, it is important that we have a definition for cure with the endpoint of five years defining it so that they can have rapid approval of drugs in earlier lines of therapy. And also, newer assets, new drugs, can come in clinical trial in a randomized fashion in one to three lines of therapy rather than waiting for late relapses. So it makes a big difference. Then the question is, how do you define cure? So cure is a state in which the patient is in complete remission with no trace of cancer for five or more years without ongoing treatment. That is important. Now, complete remission has been defined in the literature that the patients have no trace of cancer protein detectable in the blood by whatever technology we use, that they are minimal residual disease negative or measurable residual disease negative by next-gen sequencing, one in a million cancer cell cannot be detected, and functional imaging that whole body PET CT or uh, whole body MRI so that there is no trace of cancer anywhere in the body. That is important. And moreover, this definition should hold not only a newly diagnosed myeloma patient, it should also hold a patient with relapsed myeloma. So that is the definition for a cure. Now, how did this come about? This came about because of the results that was reported in ASCO 
and in EHA this year, as well as it came out as a publication in JCO, the long-term results of uh, CARTITUDE 1 trial results. This was administering Siltacel one time. The study was a phase 1b2 trial conducted between 2018 and 2019. And we looked at the results of these patients after five years with a median follow-up of 61 months. One-third of the patients were in complete remission with no trace of cancer without evidence of progression of disease. That was important. Twelve of these patients were studied in a single center where they were studied every year with a bone marrow for MRD testing as well as whole body functional imaging such as PET-CT and were found to be in complete remission with no trace of cancer which meets the definition of the cure I articulated before. So this is important in order to make major progress in multiple myeloma with the newer treatment options that have become available. It is really exciting to be in this SOHO meeting, which is very well attended. A lot of community oncologists are there to be able to say that, give a definition for cure and say, Cure is here to stay in myeloma and that the physicians who are practicing, who are taking care of myeloma patient should approach every newly diagnosed myeloma patient with an optimism that they are likely to cure that patient.